Man is under arrest, suspected of starting a fire this morning that gutted several apartment units in Sacramento. And Mike Cassell is live at the scene with new information in this investigation. Mike? Yeah, some dramatic developments right around 8 o'clock this morning. Let's get to the first things first. And that is right now in that police car, a suspect was arrested and is now being questioned about a possible connection to this morning's fire. Let's get straight to the video now and show you. We were here when it all went down. We were uh, getting ready to prepare for our 8 a.m. report. We heard the sirens. We ran over here. And that is where... Uh, Neighbors of this individual say that he is the man who started this fire. He was tackled, then taken into custody by the police department. Now, I want to make clear this person was detained and arrested now on an unrelated assault call around the corner from where we are. So he's in custody on that assault call. He is now being questioned in relation to this apartment fire. Now, come back out here live. Again, he is in the backseat of this patrol car as he's being questioned. This was an early morning house fire, started around 3 30 this morning, quickly in Gulf. Five separate apartment units gutted by fire. Two others uh, heavily smoke damage. So uh, residents told me almost immediately that they suspected an adult male in one of the lower apartments intentionally set the fire and even claimed he was going to set the fire. And then they say it was just about four and a half hours later he returned to this scene. They saw him just a couple dozen yards away from his apartment looking at that, and that is when they tackled him. Uh, they actually wrestled with him as they say he was holding like a hedge clippers in his hands as a quote unquote weapon, their words again. So this man now being uh, investigated in what turned out to be dramatic developments here just for the last half hour. And we were here to catch it all on camera. Live in Sacramento along Valley High Drive, Mike to sell KCRA 3 News.